The last fight fucking sucked ass. Kukulin, Kukulin, sorry. Kukulin. I don't know how to say it properly, but. The, the, the big green meanie. He was rough. Gafgarian was fucking rough. But. But. We got through him. And now we're in a new chapter. And there's a solid chance that we're going to spend a lot of today just power leveling as best I can. Nobody would vote for um, Captain of Industry. I have to remind you how much you miss a satisfactory vibe. I do, I do miss satisfactory. I love satisfactory. Don't commence battle. Oh, it's doing this again. Yay. Which means I have to manually. <laughs> oh, good. Good. This is what ruined my fucking vibe yesterday. Up, down. Oh, but it's left, right. Oh, wait. A, B, X, Y, select, start, shoulder, shoulder, trigger, trigger. Thumb. Thumb. Up. Up. Down. Left. Right. Up. Down. Left. Right. Okay. The thing is, I think I'm running this through a PPSP um, core. Why is it, why have I got an on-screen keyboard now? What the fuck is this? Fuck. No, it was still doing it yesterday, even after. It's still doing it. It was doing it yesterday, even after we'd closed Steam. Okay, well, start and whatnot isn't doing it now. Okay, it's not doing it. So it is Steam. Yeah, it's not doing it now. Fact Oreo? Oh my God. <laughs> Weird. Okay. This is the fact Oreo. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Powell, David. No, not the fucking Chocobo. Agrius. All right, well, I mean, now we know the, the fix now. Have Steam controller support turned off? I thought I had it turned off. I don't know what's happening any other time. I'm winging it. Thankfully, it was a quick fix today. It didn't take an hour to fix. Controller Xbox One for Windows configured in port one.
Maybe I can like, I don't know, over the next week, try and just just get standalone PPSP. Wait. Steam controller support fucked my summer car. You can't use both analog triggers at the same time for things like clutch and throttle usage. Right. Yeah, APOC having a rough one. You've started looking for other stuff though, haven't you? So gross, man. Sorry you're still stuck there. I think I used the standalone for... Um, Peace Walker, maybe? Not so sure now. I know I've used the standalone before. And I don't know what eventually got me using retro art. And portable ops, yeah. I haven't played a lot of PSP games on the channel. We didn't do the God of War PSPs. Which we should. They act inclusive, but you've been shunned, ignored, made to feel alone. The same people who talk about being inclusive fucking hate you for no reason. Yeah, I love that. Office politics, man. We don't want anyone to feel left out except you. That's fucked, man. And I know that feeling too. I know that feeling too, like for some reason people just don't like you and and will treat you different that you've done nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's worse when it's higher up. too. if it's like lackeys, then it's fine because they're just miserable because they're lackeys, but. You had to raise a grievance and take two weeks of stress related leave. Yeah, because it, it's fucked. It fucks with your whole life. Oh, damn. Awful. Sally, how are you doing, by the way? Portable ops. <laughs> this is why I don't go camping, Sally. Awful. No, I do. Yeah, hey, fuck, that's fucked, man. You, you shouldn't have to be going through that. Nightmare. Agreed you were bullied out of your department, then did fuck all to get you back in there, right? Well, at least it was something. Uh, our main character right now is a... I think he's a knight. I need to change him back to being a monk. Speaking of PSP games, yeah. Bang. Very nice. Oh, I got the chocobo stuck. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Is it going to heal? Yeah. Patapon? RPG and Guitar Hero style rhythm game format. I've seen Patapon. Where have I seen Patapon? I haven't played it, but I've seen it. Yeah. Is that on PSP, is it? Bang. Holy shit, Sacred, that's fucked. <sighs> Amazing what having friends in the right places can do, huh? Oops, a daisy. Got Mono's on in the back of the head. Rhythm focused game, right? Yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm good at rhythm games. I like rhythm games. They made a lackluster port to PS4. 
It's on PS4 and 5. Buy a PS Plus, right. But it's not great. It's not a good port. Bang. Oops. Shame if they woke up every day to flat tires, yeah. That'd suck, wouldn't it? Someone put some fucking, um... Be a shame if someone put... Ah, oh, what do you call it? Ah, oh, shit. It's too long now. Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Laxative in their coffee. <laughs> Penis is up there, tailpipe. That'd do it. That'd fucking show him. The port itself is fine. Just needed an adjustment slider for TVs that have input latencies. Right, yeah. A rhythm game with no uh, way of calibrating? That's never gonna go well, is it? Still, APOC, I think it's worth talking to someone. Like, there's got to be a HR person you can speak to. It's better to say something. Even if they tell you to go fuck yourself. I think it's worth... I think it's worth asking someone about it. Jeffrey Arcio. What's going on, mate? How are you? going to protect the company yeah but it's still their job to make sure you know no laws are being broken <laughs> i don't know i think it's worth talking to someone it's, yeah they do work for the company and their job is to protect the company that is true but still bang HR's useless in America, yeah. I don't know, I've I've never really had to deal with them. I've had I've I've dealt with one HR person in my history of having jobs, and they were lovely and really helpful. Whenever there was a problem. So I don't know. On board and laying you off, yeah, getting you in and getting you out. <laughs> they won't help get you off. <laughs> Uh, I could be wrong, but I think I have a sneaking suspicion. We just hit 800 YouTube subs. Who was that? Was that you, Jeffrey? Eight hundred subs on YouTube, dude. Fuck me. Echo. Thank you. The number matches, the number matches the other number. I love when numbers match. That's like my favorite thing. Mm -mm. Sally, the altar boy. Thank you for the gift sub to Tusa Prime. Tusa, you got three minutes of ads on Twitch. I think he's still watching the fucking ads. Sally, thank you very much for the gift sub to Tusa. Uh, and thank you. 800 people who have subbed to the YouTube channel. Thank you very, very much. That's really cool. Um, thank you, Sally. Uh, Tusa, you should not have got three minutes of Twitch ads. I literally set this up three days ago. Three days ago, I set up my ad scheduling. Um, because the thing with Twitch ads is they're going to run whether I like it or not. So I choose to run them at the most opportune time that I can and run as little as I can. You know, I've tried to optimize it for the best thing to avoid, um, pre-rolls. It should be a minute of ads or a minute and a half of ads every 30 minutes or something. Because I'm running three minutes per hour is the minimum to run. So 
so I, I set it to the minimum. But you shouldn't have got three minutes in one go. Because who the fuck is sitting through three minutes of ads to watch content? That would make me turn a channel off. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that would be more than enough for me to stop watching if I got three minutes of ads in a row. That's fucked. Well, I'm really sorry. If if anyone has got stuck watching three minutes of ads, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's not meant to do that. That's not how I have it set up. And I don't get paid more for it running longer, you know? I'm not getting more income for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you, Sally. Very much. Want to go to sleep, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, one of those days. It's just one of those days where you just want to go to sleep. <laughs> Have a little sleep. I want to sleep. You don't really know why, but you want to justify getting a little bit more sleep. No human contact, and if you interact, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Your best bet is to stay away, motherfucker! It's just a little bit of sleep. <laughs> you slept from 3 p.m. till 6 a.m.? Damn. That's, that's a fucking, that's a sleep. Uh, thank you, seriously, everybody, for subbing on YouTube. Um, at a thousand YouTube subs, I can um, monetize my content. Have a secondary income to the Twitch income. And that's really cool. Run to class? All right, Juicy, get out of here, brother. Hope that the, the school day is all right. You don't get income based on ad length, no. No, I think it's based on how many people see an ad. With, I mean, I think ad length is a thing, but I don't know how much it impacts it. But it's definitely number of people who watched it rather than amount of time spent watching an ad. Well, very, I don't know. I don't know all the ins and outs of it. Can I not hit him from here? Fucker! All right, that's fine, we'll wait. It's just one of those days. One slept for three days, that's crazy. I don't know the longest I've slept. I know the longest I've been awake. in one consecutive run rather than not having little sleeps in between. Oh, I didn't change Monozon back to being a... Oh, he blocked. I need to change it. The income is one ad. Viewers percentage of profit from ad, right. Twitch TV, taking the TV part too seriously. <laughs> Bang. Ooh. The longest I stayed up for. So, I mean way back like a few a few years ago now i had really bad insomnia uh so in terms of like single stretches of being awake without a nap without even nodding off for 10 minutes or something um i'd get like i'd be up for weeks dude it's awful um so it's hard to say because like in that time I would desperately try and sleep and I'd fall asleep for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, but in terms of like actively staying awake with no micro sleeping or, um, you know, attempts to sleep, I think it was 50 hours. Forty-eight hours. I think it was around the 48 hour mark. It was when, um, it was during all that Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. 
um, I had flights fucking everywhere to catch and um, they were all like lined up perfectly so that I just, I couldn't get sleep. It was like, yeah, maybe, maybe 48 to 50 hours or something like that. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Um, where I was up <laughs> that long without any sleep and I had to like, I was running around back and forth, airports, nightmare. I remember I finally fell asleep when I got on a plane from Melbourne to near Sydney, which is, it was about a, about an hour long flight and I slept through the whole thing and they had to wake me up when we landed. And then when I got there, I slept for like, like 12 hours. Don't miss insomnia. I had the opposite problem now. Now I can't stay awake. <laughs> as soon as I lay down, I get tired. <laughs> as soon as my body is horizontal, I'm, I'm ready to pass out. I've done a complete flip. very annoying <laughs> got back from a cruise yesterday Jimmy back at work today didn't have any uh, medical weed on the trip because illegal and the pain is all catching up to you fuck yeah especially if you rely on it that sucks dude bang Bang. Oh, this is so much easier. <laughs> it's kind of building up, yeah. Bang. I don't want to know your name. I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want to talk and stuff. I just want bang, bang, bang. Hey, Sean. What's going on, man? Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. Bang. Oh, my God. Mandalia Plains, dude. This is so different to what we've been dealing with. Holy sword. We win. We won. Win after win after win. Now that we're back in easy territory. <laughs> I don't ever want to go back to where we were. That place was scary and awful. <laughs> but we have to go there. Oh. Neck's a bit stiff. Mono's on. Change you back to a monk? Man's a monk. And then abilities. I don't know if any of this is particularly useful or gettable, but. Pummel, Aura Blast, Doom Fist. Because they, they gain levels different, separate to their job levels, right? The job level's different. Edwin the Monk. 713. Jesus. Shockwave. He only needs to learn these two. First strike is huge. If we give first strike, yeah, yeah, yeah. First strike and then give him like, I don't know, night class. 
with a big fuck off weapon. We'll get that for sure. Chemist? Learn how to use high potions? Hell yeah. Owl? Dude, you have so many fucking points. Needs one more. Uh... Do I want you to have any of that? Equip shields? Yeah, sure. Why not? David the chemist. You know how to do all of that. Remedy, holy water. Remedy. I ether. Holy water. I wonder if holy water would have been good against, um, Kukulin. Kukulin. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> it's like, I kept seeing undead crop up. But I don't actually know if he was undead or if it was just nothing, but. Oh! A black mage knows flare. A black, a black mage knows flare! I don't know what to do about it. Agrius. Hallowed Bolt, Divine Ruination. JP Boost. Counter Tackle, yeah. Yeah. No worries, Gak. No worries. All good, man. JP boost, martial arts, item, parry. Yeah, cool. And then we'll go to the town. See if we can... Not, not where I wanted to go. The outfitter. Cast flare just to see how it feels. I kind of want to. <laughs> Does any of this help me? I have 50 shuriken? I don't recall buying 50 shuriken. But I'm glad I have it. X potion seems good. Yeah, fuck it. Give me all of that. Save. My main thing is giving Monos on because I like I know he's a character who's going to stick with me through the whole game. At least I can be fairly certain. Um, giving him as much utility as I can. just wake up with 50 shuriken yeah you know, when you check your pockets and you find a shuriken in there <laughs> that times 50 it's pretty cool <laughs> dr keck you handsome sensual delicious human being how you doing man good to see you dude I wouldn't mind having some shuriken. I don't know if I want 50 shuriken, but you know, a couple would be cool. Just to chuck around, be fun. I don't know what I'd chuck it at. Fun to play with. <laughs> uh, stretching. Oh, 
Good. Good, good. I want to try out Flare. I want to see what it do. It's got to be pretty wild. I did just save. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Having a cat day? Do anything but lounge around? Yeah, man. Love those days. When you can get them. Casting flare deletes all your saves. I actually don't have enough MP for it. <laughs> oh, no. Are you kidding me? That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> Hello, Silver. Being able to watch my streams again? Could you not watch them? I know how to cast it. Yeah, but I can't cast it. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to do it anyway. It's like, I know... I know how to juggle, but I can't do it. But I understand the mechanics of it, but I can't do it. Busy for the entirety of April? Fuck. Less busy now. Don't wait, idiot. Can I not hit anyone with that? What's it gonna do? <laughs> you fucking idiot. Shit. All right, that's fine. In and around in a circle. Um, that should hurt. I'm glad you can finally relax. Busy for a whole fucking month of work. Woo damn. God damn. That shit didn't pickle. You fuck off, please. You fuck off a little, please. Have a little cup of fuck off. I can't get in there. When management fucks up the transition time between employees. Fun, 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 fun. Seems like everyone's having a shit time with uh, the various places of work at the moment. Apoch struggling, Silver's struggling. Sacred was struggling. Less struggly now. Hopefully. Fire! Fire! I, I'm, I'm gonna hit Monos on as well, but you know. Fire! He's fine, he can handle it. He's all right. He's fine. He's less fine. Less, definitely less fine. Maybe I shouldn't have blasted him with a hundred points of fire damage. Uh, move. Can I just tap you with a stick? And then can I just, oh, can I shoot you? Cause it'll hit him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and then we hit you across the corpses with the holy sword Where you going? Then tackle my mage. Don't. Cease. Um. Wait, he can't revive Monozon? Shit. Um. Can't use items either. Shit. <laughs> I was really banking on him being able to pick him up. That's cool. Wizard Club and you ain't no joke. <laughs> I got some sort of gem inset in the stuff. I could see that as a welt for days, yeah. <laughs> Bonk. That was a bop with a bag. It wasn't with the club. Why couldn't we revive him? Um, because sometimes the, the floor is too low or slightly too high. <laughs> that is the reason. So instead, I have to kill this chocobo before his timer runs out there we go oh good i was thinking it was something ridiculous yeah no if there is a slight elevation between uh the monk and the person who is down even if it's like that much off the ground um their revival martial art doesn't work which is super neat Super cool. I'm glad that's how it works, you know. Uh, we'll save again. I don't think I want to bring the Black Mage. Casting spells takes too long. And they don't even know how to do flare. What a fucking loser. <laughs> Mono's on. Edwin. Powell. David the chemist. The hill's just slightly too bumpy in this spot. I can't get to you. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Coming across a small fence in a game where you can't jump. Yeah. <laughs> Good's a stretch. Oh. My plan is for Monozon to get levels as a monk and then as a chemist so that he can use items from afar and auto potion. If I can get everyone to have auto potion, it'll make certain hits a bit less cooked. That means leveling everyone enough in chemist to have auto potion, which is not a cheap ability, but you know. Revival magic can only travel across a flat plane. That plane, that's common knowledge. Would you not go to monk school? <laughs> Fucking noob. That's why they have you lie down in a hospital. <laughs> It's basic fucking medical science, isn't it? <laughs> Someone didn't pay attention in bunk school. <laughs> Can I shoot you? Bang. Oh, I banged. Oh, sorry. Oh, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Is she in the bean hole? Uh 
don't know what she's doing either. Fucking cats, man. You try and give her attention. She's like, no, I'm good. Like, All right, I'm going to sleep. Meow. 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 <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> What's funny is when the cat thinks I'm asleep and will start screaming through the house. And then as soon as she realizes I'm awake, she'll stop. <laughs> Just 115 damage aura blast. Is there escalators in this? Uh, I am the escalator. <laughs> Doesn't matter what situation I find myself in, it keeps getting escalated. It's me. How much HP have you got? 63? 80? Yeah, fuck it. Bump. Um... Bang. Gath Garion was certainly also an escalator. He was, um, the man had no chill. He was, uh, chill deficient. Medical condition. Monozon, can you slap this fucking guy in the head? Thank you. And then, can you slap this guy in the fucking head? Okay, okay. Pretty good, still pretty good. The JP boost is pretty huge. We're getting, what, 45 around? If I can get a chocobo stuck in a corner again, <laughs> we might be in a good spot to just, like, farm, farm, you know? Bang. Goblin's name is Halia. Halia is the name of the goblin. Halia. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm still tired, all right? I'm not pulling out my best work. The last time I pulled out my best work, I got arrested. Where are we going? Uh... <laughs> Painting? Why would you paint it? Paint it green so that it can't be chroma keyed. So that it can be chroma keyed. <laughs> In high school, yeah. No! My monk! Flamingo, what's going on, man? Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, dude? <laughs> Can't hear that song without hearing the awful version of it. What's the awful version? Pretty good. Fuck yeah, man. Good, good, good. Are you gonna knock my monk down again? You're a fucking piece of shit, dude. 
Prothus gained a level? Don't. Don't. Have you considered don't? Don't. No. <laughs> 36 JP. All right, cool. <laughs> Holy fuck, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I haven't heard that version before. <laughs> That's fucked up. You're fucked up. <laughs> what am I doing? Learn. Can I? <laughs> Can we do more monk stuff? No, not yet. What I need, life font is pretty good. Recover HP on moving. Counter is good. Revive is good. But I can't do any of that. So I won't. I would have thought I would have had more points. Uh, we can almost get critical recover HP. That's good. Pal needs 1200. Okay. And David the chemist learn anything? No, not really. It looks like we're still going. What font would best describe life? Comic Sans. You know it's Comic Sans. Don't even play. You know Comic Sans is the font of life. Yeah, Finn knows. <laughs> it's Comic Sans. <laughs> It has to be. What else could it be? Um, outfitter, ninja blade. I want one. Murasame, I want one. Osafune, I want one. Tetsu, I want one. Ashura, I want one. Mage's staff, I want one. Whoop, down I go. Were you looking at how much money I have? Yeah, not a lot. Lamia's harp, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm out of money. I'm broke now. <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> that was all my money. But, you know, it's good. I like Comic Sans. I think there's anything wrong with Comic Sans. Perfectly acceptable font. Fuck a motherfucker. Hated Comic Sans with a passion. I know from like a font perspective, it's hated because it breaks like every rule that a font should have. But I don't know what those rules are. I couldn't explain to you why. I just know that like, if you study fonts and calligraphy, there's a fucking Comic Sans? <laughs> a fucking apoc whipping that joke out every time I'm not expecting it, it gets me every time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you even got saved from the other room. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. <laughs> I don't see what the problem with Comic Sans is. It's a good fun.
You know, it's quirky. It's a little silly. You know, I'm a little silly. <laughs> Guys, I'm changing my logo. <laughs> I'm changing my logo. There you go. <laughs> it's good. It's a good font. I think it's much better than this one. Sacred sent me that in Comic Sans form. So I recreated it in OBS. There you go. You got your credit, Sacred. Are you happy? Intuitively expects things to be spelled wrong when reading in Comic Sans. I know. <laughs> you get prepared to un like anagram it. <laughs> Raindale, good morning. Well, I mean, this is, this is what's like. Okay. Okay. Which I think is, I mean, that's graphic design. Graphic design is my passion. There's stuff dying in the background. I should stop fucking around. You've made it purple, yeah. <laughs> you know, I do love my purple. Purple's my favorite color. Modal, hope you're doing all right. Um, Rain, good morning. I want you to stand there and shoot him. Fuck off! Ba, 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 ba. Uh, he's, he does it all the time, Pink. The timing is often incredible. <laughs> well, I like that we've got pink, purple. Does anyone else have a color in their name? Pink flamingo, yup, it's purple. Silver flames. Pink, purple, and silver. Everyone's got colors in their name. Shut up, you know what I mean? <laughs> We had green, but their name changed. There's Dr. Green Giant. They're not here super often. Yeah, yeah, I know who that is, Scott. Yeah. And they heard silver. I was just saying people with colors in their names. Pink Flamingo. Yup, it's purple. Silver Flames. Like silver, you know, it can be a color. Kind of. Sort of. For some weird way, you just get fired, yeah? <laughs> Jeez, that's, that's how you know it's bad, dude. I'm sure they won't. But I know, I know those feels. What can you do? Like, you can't exactly quit. So you've got something else lined up and you don't want to end up in the same situation as before.
rough, dude. Bang! This... I don't know if I'm getting as much experience here as I could do. Okay. But it's consistent and it's pretty safe. So I'm just going to keep going with it. Hey, Epoch, are you allowed to, um... Are you allowed to open carry where you are? <laughs> Bring a gun to work. <laughs> They'll start being real fucking nice to you. <laughs> oh yeah, bring, bring a can of Jerry, Jerry can of fuel. Do you have any matches? Do you have a lighter? Oh, I didn't know you smoked. Oh, I don't. <laughs> bring a machete to work. FBI is a floor above you. Yeah, all right, fair cup. <laughs> fair cup. Arrest if you're not carrying in Texas. <laughs> Don't punch me back, you fucking dweeb. Um, you know, I could just. No, we'll, 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 we'll play it safe. Move. Ralvanith. What's going on, mate? No, nope, not dead. Start writing down people's routines on the answer a question as to where they're going. Yeah. <laughs> where are you off to? Oh, I'm just off to lunch. Cool. My hat from a king a little today. No, not really. Let's criticize the Israeli military. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Damn! Suck a dick. Probably should use it antidote or something because yeah 22 damage every turn is ouchy uh no don't aim potion <laughs> also roll vanith just before <laughs> said yo Jesus Gaming. And I can't help but think of that as like an esports team of like, like Jehovah's Witnesses or something. I can imagine like an esports team playing League of Legends, but they're all Jehovah's Witnesses. You got the little, the, the little, the, the white shirts, the ties. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> can you imagine the esports logo and everything? The winner this year is Jesus Gaming. <laughs> don't believe in games? Oh. I mean, they don't believe in games. You don't believe in games. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, he's real. Jesus Gaming 41, there you go. Oh, you, you know what? Ralph Anath must have had the wrong channel. Jesus Gaming 41. Pink Flamingo, thanks for the gift, dude.
<laughs> you know, it's the new Jehovah's Witness Fortnite dance. <laughs> Arms out, head down. <laughs> it's it's gonna catch on man it's gonna be big like flossing <laughs> ninja's gonna do the christ on the cross <laughs> in times square <laughs> Get a friend to spear you mid pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Takes three days to respawn. <laughs> Man, I tried playing Dark Souls, but it took fucking forever. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit up one of those uh, fake graphic design scam bots thing and just ask them for a logo for Jesus Gaming. Get them to send me one and then um, I'm not going to pay him or anything. But it'd be funny. <laughs> oh, hold up. Stretch it out my shoulder. Feels good. You got through Calamite? Nice, Silver. That's a rough fight. Good job. Hold the fuck on. Where are you, motherfucker? Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Wait. One second. Bear with me. Just, 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 just hold on. I can't see it. Where is it? Where did it go? Ralvanith. Ralvanith, are you still here? <laughs> Too religious here. I'm going to bed. Good night, hotcakes. Hit him with one of these. <laughs> Rest well, dude. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Rovanith, aka As, are you here? Hello? Also, if your name has name, aka name, get rid of the first bit. You don't need the first bit. Just be As, you know? Trust me nuts, I see that all the time. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I had nothing more to say on the topic. But it is amusing that like when someone comes in for the first time, they're like, whoa, this guy's got long hair and a beard. It's Jesus. Yeah, because historically, there's only one man in the history of the planet that had long hair and a beard. Also, I'm white. <laughs> this was Middle Eastern. <laughs> Whoa, you look like that guy from that thing. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I'm going for a Siggy. Uh, and then we will continue grinding. Because that's what we're doing today. Jesus, yeah. I mean, Jared Leto thinks he's Jesus. So what's the difference? <laughs> You're wide. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> the fourth it's fucking annual. cold outside, dude.
Whew. My fingers. Second big main story quest in Tears of the Kingdom is done. Nice, Gino. Fuck yeah, dude. Al the Pyro, what's shaking? How you doing? Got the coffee? Nah, making a coffee takes too long, so I don't <laughs> I don't make one on my break. Unless I really hang for one. Good, Jason, I'm good, mate. How are you? Al, yeah, doing alright. We're uh, we're just having a having a farm. Having a little having a little farm. Today's going to be probably a lot of this. Back and forth. Until I get into a random fight. Come on. Want coffee? Coffee good. Coffee very good. Give me a fucking fight, would you? Yeah, I mean, today's pretty much just going to be farming. I don't see us progressing any story today. After the fuckery of yesterday's stream. <laughs> um, I don't want to go through that again. That sucked. So we're going to farm. Monk, monk, archer, chemist, holy night. You missed yesterday's stream? We got up to chapter three. We, we are now in chapter three of Final Fantasy Tactics, um, which is awesome. But yesterday was rough. It started off with all sorts of tech issues, and then it was two really, really difficult fights back to back. Um, and that was that was brutal. And like it was, it was really, it was really highlighting the problems that I have with tactics. In that I love everything about it except the gameplay. <laughs> and it's just the mechanics of needing to farm, um, the RNG of combat. It's rough. It's really rough, but the story is so good and the universe of the game is really cool and I'm not gonna get sick of this music. What the fuck are we bugging out for? Uh move. Got the life force out of the anus song. That's true. That was a good one. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty good banger, though. Um. Bang. Missed! It's very annoying. Can you aura blast him from here? Nope. All right, that's fine. Yeah, it was a rough day, but we got through it. Oh, stiff neck. Agrius. Holy Sword. Judgment Blade. Agrius is cool. I might stick with Agrius for a while. She fucks pretty hard. Can I shoot this guy from here? Bang. The random dude and the goblin are an item? Absolutely. They're a, they're a thing. They're a couple. Absolutely. Which, you know, we're not going to frown upon, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not here to judge, I'm here to kill. 
<laughs> Piss off. Put their pets there as well. Yeah, this is just their house. We've just stumbled in. We're gonna see what their names are. Doesn't show your name here. Okay, that's fine. Or a blast. Their bird and their dog. Yeah, no, they're absolutely a couple. Goblin's got his wee little boots on. Cyclone. I fucked that bird up. Bertrand is his name. Bertrand, and I don't have, I don't know the goblin's name. Bertrand sounds like a goblin fucker kind of name, right? Oh, and we will... Oh, no. You knew a Bertrand? Really? I cannot imagine someone in the last, like, 20 years... 30 years, even. Oh, he was old as fuck, yeah? I was gonna say, I can't imagine anyone being named Bertrand. Did you call him Bert for short? Not a good fighter? Am I missing something? Is this a reference? Oh shit. <sighs> um, let's go over here. Oh, critical roll. <laughs> I'm way out of the loop on crit roll. <laughs> Come on. See the violence inherent in the system? Revive. Get up. Okay. I think I would have a less of a hard time. Um with this if things like using items wasn't a potential to miss and like healing using a phoenix down using revival spells like that they couldn't miss that stuff being a dice roll it just adds unnecessary tension like i get adding tension but it just it it, it should be a given like I'm using the mana. He's he's right there. It doesn't need to be a random in, uh, uh, encounter. I'm already spending the turn to do it. You spend the turn, you spend the MP, which is a turn you're spending not attacking, not doing any damage, not, you know, anything like that like maybe you could balance it out by maybe if you if you cast a spell or use an item you can't or, or throw an item you can't move maybe echo drone what's up dude shit you know what i mean like there's ways you could balance that without it being a missable thing yeah if they can miss they should be able to crit Oral Blast. <laughs> 9 out of 10 dentists recommend Sacred's Oral Blast. Stop blocking all my attacks, you fucking dickhole. Oh, 
Sure, I'll take that. Why not? There you go. And get on this side of him. Finish the job. Delicious. Delicious cheese sandwich. Delicious. Delicious cheese sandwich. Got some money. Not a lot, but some. Didn't mean to start a second fight. Agrius. Powell. David. This is a pretty good crew. Do this fight, buy some stuff, check our abilities, and keep going. Uh, tomorrow is going to be, uh, it's fuck around Friday. I have a little list in my head of some potential things we can do. Um, and then we have a double dose of Kingdom Come Deliverance. The team is really bad. What, bad like good? Like Michael Jackson bad? hit anything from here. Oh, well, there we go. What term? What are we talking about? What are you talking about? Stop it. <laughs> Bad? Ever hit anything? Can you aura blast? Oh, you can too. Aura blast. Bang! Suck a dick. No, no, stop. Stop. This guy's name Aeolides? Romeos? <laughs> Why did he get a level? I punched him in the head. Potiti! Potitis and gravy. Don't. What's that? What was his name? Aeolides? Aeolides nuts? Up, don't. Remember ENB playing this? Looks super impressive. Who's it? What's it? Who's ENB? Ed and Breakfast. <laughs> if there's anyone named Ed who wants to get into content creating, that's a great name. Ed and Breakfast. You can have that. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Edit breakfast is really good. Epic name, bro. 
I don't know who that is. They played this? Yeah, it's... it's the, the story's good. The music's good. The world is good. It's just the gameplay is fucking rough. When it's great, it's great. Like, it can be really satisfying, but man, sometimes... It's just like... It's unfair for no real reason. You can have that, yeah. Ed and Breakfast. It's a really good name. <laughs> Fuck off, would ya? That was an annoying sound that I made, but I'm glad I made it. Hundred and fifty fucking damage, I'll take it. See what I mean? Like when it does cool, when cool stuff happens, it feels really good. But when I try and throw a fucking basic potion and I miss, that shit's really frustrating. Especially when the enemies design, decide to gang up on like one player, one character. That's really frustrating, but I mean, that's fine. I can deal with that. Kicked your deadlift bar barefoot. Whoops. <laughs> you have coffee now. You have coffee, then you're good. That's all you need. All you need is coffee. You can get through just about anything. We're getting levels. Levels are happening. Can I heal from there? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know the mecha. Are they a streamer or a YouTuber or something? Hundred and ninety nine. Well, I can only hit. Uh. Oh, I can hit you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I fuck, fuck that. That's so frustrating. You know what, though? Just like m minimum effort. If you get it wrong, then you can be easily say, well, I tried to ask and no one gave me an answer. So I did it to the best of my ability. And if you don't like that, then give me an answer. Put it on them, you know? You shouldn't be getting treated like shit for asking questions so you can do your job right. Do it to the best of your capacity, and if they don't like it, then they can train you better. He's the Souls guy? Really? I think of the Souls guys as being like... Hob. For, you know, challenge running. Vati for lore. Um... Yeah. There you go. Leto is a... He's a Souls guy. But he's not like, you know, the Souls guy. If I think Dark Souls content creator, I think like Barty Vidya. Or Happy Hob. They're the two that I, that I go to immediately. Um. Uh, Zeus. Hey, hey, Zeus. Here's toast. I think. This is cool. Yeah, he's he's a Bloodborne speedrunner, isn't he? A lot of the time. He's fun. I like him. I like Barty a lot. He's really carved a, a niche. For himself. Hello there, little fucking goblin in the swamp. Uh, 
pack. Oh, yeah. Take that. That's good, too. Man, some, some of these fucking creators have been around for so long. How long's Vardy been making videos for, you know? Am I fucking down again, really? This is meant to be mindless grinding, by the way. <laughs> Low effort. Don't think too hard kind of grinding. Oh, okay. No more mana. Um, Phoenix down. I've been really engaging with um, super long form videos. I mean, Noah Coldwell Gervais, probably my favorite YouTuber. Just the way that he writes, the way that he speaks, and the length of his videos, really good. I really enjoy everything he does. Whoa. But I like video essays, you know, long form, something I don't have to... I'm not scrolling around looking for something to watch, I can just get lost in it. Brutal moose. What do they do? Do you use item? Nope. Now, why did his spin punch hit me there? But I've done spin punch on the same kind of um, ground and it didn't work. Hey, why are you off the ground again? Didn't I kill you? Could have sworn I killed him. Very annoying. Hey, I found a shield. Nice. 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 We win. We've won the day. Wunderbar. Did it. It's been K. Not bad, not bad. Um, I don't know if we have much to buy, but we'll check everyone's stuff. Abilities. Learn. I don't know how I'm getting chemist points. Is it because I'm using... Using item? Archer? I don't know why I'm getting archery points. That makes no sense to me. Uh, monk. Revive. Cool. Edwin? Uh, he needs 400 more points and he's good to go. Owl? Mastered, right? Mastered. Cool. Uh, shit. What do we make Powell then? Geomancer? Started out with game reviews, now it's frozen dinners with insane editing. Oh, 
I might have seen his videos if the editing is like really frantic. I might have seen those. Purple showed me those a while back. We're going to change Pal's job, but I don't know what to. David only needs to learn two more, and he's good. Who's that, Sacred? You like him? Oh, I don't very much, but I'm glad... <laughs> I'm glad you found someone you like to watch. I can't stand it. Hate them most days. <laughs> Not to shit on another content creator, but man, I really just can't stand that fucking idiot. With his long hair. Who do you think he is? I can learn another one. Blizzard. Can't stand him either with his long hair. Who does he think he is? <laughs> Can't stand him most days. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> Same answer. <laughs> All right. It's time to change jobs. Not for you. Or Owl? Yeah, he's mastered Squire and he's mastered Archer. Where best can your skills go? Thief? Knight? Chemist. Maybe chemist. He's got a pistol, so he can still do ranged attacks. Abilities? A sign. Items and... Aim. Archer's Bane with JP boost. Yeah. Double Chemist. work with that save well, who you watch most these days yeah save the game yeah I will yeah saving is a good idea save and I could go for a big run all the way back to Zaland see if we can buy stuff along the way I've got a save so oh wow we didn't get into a fight along the way okay poison rod thunder rod ice rod rod I don't have any poles I don't know who uses poles these are really expensive Headband. Bloomed hat, leather cap. Large fries, chocolate check. Winged boots. Float. Rubber boots. Negates lightning. Jump plus one. Move plus one. Boosts magical attack power. Physical attack. Reflect ring. Is 
Sorry. Immune from sleep and doom. <laughs> Could have used that. A minute ago. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> that would have been really handy to have. <laughs> Fuck. That's fine. Um, Monozon is becoming a monk. I'm working on it. Equipment. So if I optimize it, nothing changes but you can't use any of that you can't wear any headgear that gives you more HP less MP that's less of both you can't wear that stuff oh everyone's wearing them already Brigandine? Slightly less... David, the chemist. Slightly less HP, but more MP. You can't wear any of that. Agrius. What does that do? Immune to slow. Move plus one. Power gauntlet. Wait, who's wearing the power gauntlet? Cassandra the Black Mage? Why? Okay, so this is where optimize becomes a problem, I see. Oh, piece of shit. Carl's good morning. Black mage wearing boxing gloves, yeah. Dismiss some of these chocobos. How you doing, Carls? Because I don't need 5,000 chocobos in my pocket. Uh, dismiss. 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 Okay. Now I'll save again. Now that I've spent all my money. <laughs> and made the party a little bit smaller. Bit air at the moment, yeah. I hope you're all right. Now we'll go for a big run all the way back to Mandalia. Here we go. And we'll run back and forth between those two points and we should be all right. Two monks, two chemists, and a holy knight. Slick. Like 
Siege Wield. Here we go. Bomb. Fiery cunt. Is that it? Oh no, there's a goblin as well. Good not a goblin. Not a good elf. Uh, wait. Two goblins and a fire thing. What would be crazy is if we trap one of these enemies in a corner. And have two of our guys throwing heels at it. <laughs> and two of our guys wailing on it. And we just get infinite, <laughs> infinite health, infinite JP. <laughs> it's totally doable. Because I think you can throw heal. You, of course you can throw heels at the enemy. You can do anything. What if we can trap one of the goblins? <laughs> and just keep him in a heal damage loop, like what we did with the chocobo. Can you fuck off? As long as we don't one-shot him. Could be pretty funny. Okay. Bang. Pal got a job level. Nice. Piss off. Wait. Hit. Okay, he's down. Now, if we can somehow trap one of these goblins so he can't move, and then. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work, but it's a fun idea. Items, high potion. I'm good. I'm just getting everyone up there. He's almost stuck. He's got 138 HP. Ooh, I mean, I hit him pretty hard. Okay, he's down. Got a lot of potions. Bullying one dude while the rest of his mates turn into items and picking up all the items. Yeah, as long as I have items to throw, everyone's gonna get JP. So you get up there. And then you go here. It's 
steel. Steel gill from him. <laughs> Doesn't do damage. And 208 gill, all right. Hasn't got a lot of ways he can go. And as long as we're in a, a, a box. We should be able to heal each other as well as him. We got him. He's stuck. He can't move. <laughs> he's got a hundred. Okay. <laughs> my potion <laughs> this guy's fucked <laughs> and then agrius and um can i cyclone no i'll, I'll miss i can aura blast though so as long as he doesn't die we can just keep him stuck here <laughs> Uh, if I attack him now, he'll die, I think. Steel gill. <laughs> I'm beating him up for his lunch money. Obtain 208 gill. Oh my god. Amazing. Oh, but he can spin punch. Okay, so he can hit all four of us. That's pretty funny, though. Agrius, you hang back here. You're going to get his items. David, the chemist. Just give us all a heal. Geek, what's going on, mate? Don't move. Steel gill. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to be rich. Got to make you healthy so you survive this. <laughs> This is wild. He's got 43. Okay. This heal will be very handy. Fuck a potion after. So we've got two dudes healing. One dude stealing Gil, one dude bapping him in the head. <laughs> and hypothetically we can sit here forever until we run out of potions or ethers and we're getting the same amount of JP we would be getting if we were fighting enemies in the wild 77 aura blast might kill him so let me do purification if it lands, I'll still get JP. Oh, I don't have any things, though. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> I have 90 potions. 90 high potions. I suppose the only person not getting JP from this is Agrius, but if I can move 
someone else and Agrius in the same turn will be all right. Yeah, there you go. Treasure chest, crystal. Martial arts, aura blast. The absolute worst thing that can happen is I crit and kill the dude. It's a pretty good worst case scenario. Okay, David the Chemist, can you use one of our many, many potions on our monk? You're like, we can't lose this. This is very low risk. It's just how much can I get? This is about as low risk farming as you get. I suppose he's going to gain levels, but... You'd have to really gain levels. Ocean. I know, he's just stuck in the middle. <laughs> heal, punch, heal, steal. <laughs> um... How much health has he got? 48. All right, we better not. Um, throw a potion at him. Stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> I'm curious if this is like the way you're meant to farm in this. Like, is this how with... Is this how I've been me meant to do it this whole time? I just keep getting more and more money. Getting closer. to the uh, optimal farming technique. <laughs> there's definitely, there's got to be a more efficient way of doing this, but I suppose it depends on what enemy I'm also trying to do this to. Some of them will have, they won't require healing. The chocobos, chocobos don't require being healed because they just do choco cure on themselves and they're fine. How's your health? 118? Yeah, I don't think Aura Blast will hurt you enough to kill you. Forty JP per Aura Blast. We're going to be rich. He can't one shot any of us, can he? No. Cool. He's not going anywhere, that's for sure. rich in Final Fantasy terms? Well, I think I've stolen a few thousand gil off him at this point. He 
people they ate or stole from, but it was just, it just forms in their ass. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is just mining. Oh, hey, football's on tonight for anyone uh, interested. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big game, I think. Uh, 7.40 p.m. Literally 12 hours from now for anyone who's interested in Australian football. Um, pretty big game on tonight. Big rival rematch. Uh, which I will be showing off in Discord. If you're around 12 hours from now and you're interested in watching some Australian sports ball, we have our own sport, so, um, if you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty fucking wild, and I like it a lot. Is it the one with the goals? <laughs> yeah, the one with the ball and the goals. <laughs> Be working but what bang it on second monitor fuck yeah man it's a good time yeah okay sacred fair fair cop i was like i didn't, didn't really pick you as a sporty kind of a sports enjoyer but no that that tracks that makes sense i get you no it should be a good game Yeah, it's the one with the egg-shaped ball and the goalposts, four, four goalposts. Yeah, AFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Do you like a good game of sports, Felon? I like a good game of sports. All right, I guess Agrius can just chill i don't know how much she can do from here really how's everyone's health pretty good i've watched porn for the story are you kidding me dude lemon stealing whores is like gripping unabsolutely intended Introduced to it in college 10 years ago. Spent way too much time watching it. Fuck yeah. It's a really cool sport. It's fast paced. Um, it's exciting. I mean, there's boring games. It's not, you know, it's not always high tier fucking action, but, um, oh, I missed. It is often very exciting. Uh, and I, I really like it. I'm really proud of my team culturally and you know generationally very connected to my my sports ball team and it's the only sport that i really have any interest in i'm not big on sport in general 10 inch mutant ninja turtles that is not a real pawn is it 10 inch mutant ninja turtles that is incredible whoever came up with that is a fucking genius <laughs> That's amazing. Hemp, how you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. A fucking genius. <laughs> Outstanding. Fucking outstanding. <laughs> Sacred do it, press enter. I have to know. 
10 inch mutant ninja turtle <laughs> look it up <laughs> Ooh, but i wouldn't want a master splinter wait, 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 wait. everyone's looking a little hurt <laughs> 10 inch mutant ninja turtles Put you in a wheelchair, turtle power. <laughs> Business as usual, Echidna. The spreader. <laughs> you can leave Foot Clan as it is. Just a bunch of creepy little fuckers who are into fate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is why the internet was a good call i'm glad we i'm glad we went and i'm glad we did that i agree geek <laughs> Adriel, how you doing You know, this is going pretty good. A radioactive dude jerked off into a storm drain and created the 10 inch teenage mutant, the 10 inch mutant Ninja Turtles. That's honestly, that is art. That is incredible. Like I'm all, uh, I'm all about good like porn parody titles. Like there's some classics, but that's my favorite one. <laughs> that's so good. Reyes, what's going on, mate? When's the Discord watch party happening? When? I just need to see if it's watchable online. It's from 2016. Where can you watch it? If anyone can find me a link, we'll watch it. Woodrocket.com. Is that actually the website? Still not burnt out? Nah, Reyes, we're good. Yesterday was rough because it was rough fights, but I'm having a good time. I've, I've, um... Oh, there's a Pornhub link? Oh my god, incredible. All right, yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a Discord watch party. It's got to be good, right? But the thing is, this, this is the problem with porn parodies, right? Is they're only funny as long as the story is relevant. As soon as they get to the fucking... You're just watching fucking and then it's like, okay, you know, we're, we're, we're out of the comedy zone. And it just, it stops being as funny. It's, don't get me wrong, it's still funny. It's just less funny. It's kind of like Cards Against Humanity. It sort of gets to a point where it's like, okay. We're past the barrier now, it's not funny, it's, you know. We're just trying to outdo each other now. <laughs> But the first, you know, little bit of Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, look, I do need to see if they painted the cocks green. Because that can't be good. But, you know, in internal. You don't want to get paint up there, you know? That can't be good. All cameras on for the watch party and everyone has to keep their hands. Uh, no, fuck it. You guys want a jacket to... <laughs> you can do it. That's cool. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you.
Oh yeah, Gak, that's true. Michelangelo? Ah, you know what's funny? I was having a conversation with Sev last night about a very similar topic. <laughs> Leonardo? <laughs> Raphaelis? Dongatello. Dong Dongatello was great. Master Sphincter? Oh my god. <laughs> Dongatello is beautiful. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Michelangelo blow is pretty fucking low hanging fruit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you guys seen the movie Zack and Mary make a porno? That's a good movie. Same kind of comedy. <laughs> they make a Star Wars porn parody. Star Wars. <laughs> He'll survive an aura blast to the face. Which is what they said in uh, Final Fuckacy. The porn parody of Final Fantasy. <laughs> Called Zack and Miri makes it fine to sell in a family store. Steal? 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 So I'm gonna be bullying this goblin for the next couple hours, right? Like we're just gonna, the whole stream is gonna be me gangbanging this guy. <laughs> Sorry, I just, Sacred just sent me a still. <laughs> 10 inch mutant ninja turtle. <laughs> Had a copy of Toxic Avenger, really? You had a second, a second printing of issue one of TMNT, the comic. That's crazy. That'd be worth quite a bit now nowadays, wouldn't it? And if you're like me, it doesn't matter what it's worth because you're never going to sell it, right? It's just awesome to have. Never selling? Yeah, I'm with you. Um, would he survive a bop to the head? Oh, absolutely. Or a blast, motherfucker. Eight XP and forty JP. Now, here's the thing: Edwin the monk is not getting monk points from stealing all these gil. He's getting JP, but I think he's getting JP for something else. So I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I'm guessing he's getting Thief JP. Which is still good. <laughs> Ten inch mutant ninja turtles. <laughs> I'll watch anymore. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm gonna watch the fuck out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
find out after the fight where that JP goes. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose so. I mean, I could end this fight and just see how far we've got, but it's also like, I've come this far. We should just push it to its limit, right? Like, go as far down this rabbit hole as I possibly can. Save me trying to do it again. Dongatello is too funny. Oh, right. You'd be getting chemist points as well for doing that. Have an endless JP farm, an endless money farm. Yeah. And in fact, if I could trap him in a corner, instead of taking four people's worth of damage, he could just take three. If we can, like, lock him in. If you really lock him in, you could have him take one person's worth of damage, which would just make the whole thing go much easier. Um. Magic. Dongatello. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep going with this for a bit, but I do want to go take a piss and have a ciggy. So, um, we'll be going for three and a half hours. Give me five. I'm going to go take a piss, have a smoke. This is goblin abuse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it is. There's no way around that. This <laughs> I can't justify this. The goblins are going to come after us for war crimes. Um, not if we kill them all. Not if we kill them. <laughs> Give me five. I'll be right back. Make me. Yeah, whatever. Um, it is cold outside. And my fingers are cold. I got cold fingers. I'm sitting on a lighter. Make coffee? It takes ages to make a coffee, Gakaroth. I could have made an instant coffee, but I. Shut up. <laughs> takes so long. Uh, welcome back to Goblin Abuse. <laughs> the stream. Where we pick on this one guy. And I, I, I just keep picking on this one guy. The downside to a good coffee machine is that making good coffee takes longer. Make a flask of coffee before stream. That's not a bad idea, but that would probably need to be instant. I don't know if I could put like espresso shots into a a big thermos, but a big thermos is a good idea. I've got I've had travel mugs, but I tend to drink those really quick. A big ass fucking thermos has decreased my coffee intake. No, I'm drinking more coffee than I ever have. Not ever. I'm drinking more coffee than I have in a long time, but. It does make me second guess. Like, I, I do think for slightly longer about whether I want one because it takes longer to make. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll look into getting a, a big old fucking coffee thermos. Like a camping one, you know? But then I'll just drink the whole thing. And then... I'll be fucking wired because I've had like 12 cups of coffee over the course of a stream. Put the coffee maker next to the PC. I've thought about it, but the milk would need to be in the kitchen. So I'd still have to go and get the milk and then froth it in here. And then it's harder to clean. That is a really good idea. I do want to get a mini fridge at some point. But then, you know, then I'd move less. <laughs> and I'm already not moving a lot. So <laughs> it's probably not... Not a great idea. You got a mini fridge in your ensuite? 
just shit next to your drinks? No, it wasn't a hot coffee. It was an iced coffee in a bottle. But then... Then the room got really hot and the bottle exploded. Technically, it's a different room. <laughs> Can I just put Agrius into auto mode? She's not actually doing anything. Oh, she's going to kill him. I wish she got a job level. But she's gonna run away. Okay. It would be good to have a, a little coffee bar just next to me. That would that would be wild. Don't drink from the thermos. I mean the little lid. The little, you know how you turn the thermos upside down and the lid upside down and you got a little lid, little, little cup. You know what I'm saying? Paying close attention to bravery and faith? Nope. <laughs> Not in the slightest. Leave the milk in the kitchen, but then it defeats the purpose of having the thermos. The purpose of having a thermos. The purpose of having a thermos. Put espresso in there, but maybe have a 16 ounce flask with eight shots of espresso, yeah. Over the course of a stream, I'll usually make two coffees. Um, so that's that's four shots, two double shot coffees. You didn't fuck with it either, Quinn. Yeah, cool. Because I haven't been paying attention to it at all. Uh, Aura Blast. Job level. Steel. That's pretty crazy, eh, fuck? That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll look into a thermos. I mean, I'm, I've got to go to the shop today anyway. Maybe Kmart has like a decent thermos that isn't too expensive. I don't have a lot of cash at the moment is the problem. Kmart. Also, yes, uh, in Australia, Kmart is still a big thing. Thermos. 1.5 liter vacuum flask. 22 bucks. 1.9 liter silver double wall insulated drink bottle. No, okay, that's not what we want. I don't want a drink bottle. But a vacuum flask? That sounds right. Keeps hot for up to six hours. 20 bucks. That might be the guy. Well, I'll have a look. I'm going to the shops anyway. Rain, what's happening? How are you? Oh, 
Wait. Cura? Stream from the fucking kitchen. There you go. I'll move my whole setup out there and then we'll be good. Coffee making stream. <laughs> Carl's, you had one of my coffees. Was it good? Oh no, you didn't have a coffee, did you? Not that day because you'd already had heaps from DeGraves. I have to ask Grievous if you like my coffee. Rain Dog, are you here? Did you like my coffee? Was it good? Tell me I'm good. I think I make an alright coffee. <laughs> Can I make a sandwich in six hours? <laughs> oh, you can't have regular milk. Right. Yeah, and we've, we only had regular milk. I forget. Didn't get special Carl's milk? No, I completely forgot. I should have got some special Carl's milk. Carl's milk sounds like milk from Carl's. I was saved by the coffee! Who's that now? APOC! What are you doing? Shooting a fucking coffee? Speaking of coffees... Hey! APOC, thanks man! That'll sort me out for a fucking big old thermos. Dude, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, all right, I'll fucking go to Kmart today and give myself a big old thermos. Yum, yum, yum. You'll see me tomorrow with a big old fucking... <laughs> Thanks, dude. It's good for when it's like for when the weather gets cold, you know. I like coffee. Coffee's yum. <laughs> it's been 22 hours. I haven't slept. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to kill this guy. I'm going to finish the job. He's one for your water. Yeah. We'll finish him. And then I'll see how much we've gained. We've, I mean, I've been beating the fuck out of this guy. Previous said he liked the coffee I made? Okay, that's good. I think I make a pretty good coffee. I was a barista for long enough, you know? <laughs> that's down so much waste? Yeah, for sure. The battle is won. I got 7,600, but that doesn't include all the money I stole from his pockets. <laughs> I have 13,000. I think I stole like 3,000 from his pockets or something, 2,000 maybe? Learn. Yeah, heaps of monk points. Life font. Very nice. Edwin? No, Edwin was not getting... Edwin was getting, um, monk points, not thief points. And now he's mastered monk. Okay. Throw items. 
safeguard. David the chemist. Oh, yeah. One more fight and David the chemist will be done as a chemist. Um, he's also got monk points. I'm not entirely sure how, but... I don't really know how job points work anyway, so... That's fine. Agrius? Agrius didn't do a lot. Uh, Edwin has mastered Monk, so I can change his job now, uh, and I will. I could make him a thief. Why not? Abilities. Steal. And use items. First strike, JP boost, life font. Points gained from other job characters spill on, they spill out onto other characters, do they? I did not know that. That's pretty sick. Any dual wield? Oh. Got a platinum dagger though. Green beret. Give him more movement. Other characters or other jobs? Well, I know that, like, it definitely spills from other jobs, but I don't know about other characters. If there's a monk and he gains lots of points, it spills over to other characters with different jobs. Right! That's how the other characters have been getting points in classes they've never had. That makes sense. I was wondering how that was happening. <laughs> uh, well, let's... Let's go. Mono's on, Edwin, Powell and David, Agrius. Jason Waterfall. Mr. Feudal. What's happening, man? How are you? Good to see you, dude. I 
I like the thief's outfit with his puffy little pants. I'm not sure the chocobo is going to turn out as well as you hoped you might, Professor Fester. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pantaloons, they are very pantalones, for sure. Bang. Bang. Wait. Wait. And the chocobo is stuck. <laughs> the chat is stuck. Chat is stuck. Oh, fuck you. Get more corn zerkers. Do it, man. Do it. You know you want to. You got to do it. Uh, I think this might just shoot the chocobo. Yeah, it did. Too many turns to kill the squid-headed guy and he summons Cthulhu. Anything's possible, Frank. <laughs> that was a big jump. That was cool. Blocked. Lovely. In Jesus. A favorite job so far? Oh, I don't know. The chemists are cool. Knights are fun. I like knights. I just wish the percentage hit on knights was better. I like the magic classes, but uh, I'm I've I've lost a little bit of love for them because um, they're so unpredictable and they take too long. Like casting just takes fucking forever. favorite job is mod tools at least twitch thinks though thinks so <laughs> what a fucking pain in the dick dude <laughs> 64 no i don't want to do that can i aura blast someone from up here no heal yourself I'm, I'm still wrapping my head around a lot of how this game wants to function. You had a time out and ban, you're good, yeah. Bang. Love it. I'm gonna tell you what. As frustrating as yesterday's stream was, it's been a really cool couple of days, man. Um, got Twitch Partner Plus. Got some lovely gifts on Throne. Um, hit 800 subs on YouTube. That's fucking wild. 
Um, got through some tough fights in Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, fuck. Had a Neil Breen marathon. I got a coffee for Thermos from APOC, which I'll go and get today. It's a magical week. <laughs> I don't know, there's this really cool stuff happening. Um me and Sev been playing Animal Crossing. Just really cool stuff happening. No, not him. You'll kill him. Press re one on YouTube, not yet. I'll do that uh today. Uh, can you? Apoc the Sega Saturn guy? Apoc is in apocalyptic sound. I don't know. Do you have Sega Saturn? <laughs> um, so much to do today. Um, not a whole lot. Not, uh, you know, more than I'm usually expected to do. Upload some YouTube stuff. Do my usual highlight and thumbnail after the stream. Go to the shops, which I was going to go to the shops anyway. Stop in at Kmart, get a fucking big old thermos. I don't, I don't think we'll watch <laughs> Ten Inch Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, but we got football on tonight, so we'll watch that. That'll be good. Uh, attack? Aren't you supposed to be healing yourself? Why are you hitting me? <laughs> exactly, hey, Pop. Uh, Powell the chemist. You can probably stand to bang. Uh, Edwin the Thief. Missed the first three minutes. <laughs> Bang. Just saw a vomit green cyber truck. Man, I was watching a video just the other day about cyber trucks. They're really dumb, aren't they? Like they're really dumb cars. <laughs> I hadn't quite clued into how stupid they were, but man, they're really bad. <laughs> Like, it's, it's baffling. And like, we could sit here and shit on Elon Musk for the next four hours and I'd do it happily, but... Just based on, like, it as its own product, not related to anybody or anything else. As its, as its own thing that exists in the world. It is not good. You know? <laughs> Apparently driving one feels okay, like it's pretty smooth, like to drive on roads, but outside of literally that one part, everything else is a nightmare. You can't wash it. Uh, you can short circuit it by, by washing it. That's, that's a thing that can happen. 
all the edges are like super dangerous. <laughs> it's a fingerprint magnet. Tablet controlled everything. <laughs> Just asking to have a car accident. Can't let rain get on it. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks unfinished. Man. <laughs> it's just, it's indicative though, isn't it? Like, it's just another thing. <laughs> like, on its own merit, it's silly, but as part of the whole experience that is Musk, it's, <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Uh, I guess we'll wait. And yeah, doesn't the thing like not have crumple zones? So if you get in a car accident, like at any speed, you're getting, you're getting your head ripped off. Crumple zones are for pussies. All right, this is a problem. Welcome back, Jason. I'm gonna shoot monitors on. No, I'm good. They all got recalled, really? Wild. So for some reason you had one less game played than West Coast that one, two, lost five, your one, four, lost two. Finally realized it because of the draw last week, yeah. <laughs> Throwing off all the stats. Damn! Sorry, the accelerator pedal could fly off and get stuck? What the fuck? <laughs> and when it slid off, it would be stuck on accelerate. Holy shit. <laughs> it just gets fucking worse. So safe. It. <laughs> the fix was screwing a small hole with a nut and bolt. Good lord. Certain other people to drive one. <laughs> I mean, look, if you, if, if based on everything, you still purchase one. That's on you, I guess. But it's endangering other people that's the problem. APOC, you were saying there's a few cyber trucks in your neck of the woods, right? I know you, you, you've you got this one that's like normal silver and now there's a green one. I haven't seen any in person. I don't even know if you can get them here. We've seen three to four. That's wild.
You know, X potions really aren't that expensive. One silver, one blue, and now the green one. You think there's another silver one about? Man. <laughs> Unreal. A matte black one that looked spray painted? It probably was. Didn't Cyberpunk have a cyber truck you could drive around in? I don't know, I haven't played it yet. A Pontiac Aztec? I haven't seen that. Pontiac Aztec. Oh yeah, yeah I can see that. Man, I got a fucking Nissan. I'm good. <laughs> I don't need a fucking Cybertruck. I got a Nissan Maxima. Uh, that's, that's, that's... I'm happy. <laughs> I like my car. I don't like that it doesn't have Bluetooth. That's annoying. But I like the car. Two thousand and eight model, I think. I don't know, I don't remember what year it was. A Bluetooth jungle, yeah, I've got one. It's FM receiver, so it depends on what area you're in, is how good it sounds. You'll drive through areas with like radio crossover and it fucks up the sound and it's not nearly as clear as putting a CD in. You head unit? You know the fun thing about <laughs> the Nissan Maxima? <laughs> you can't replace the head unit without it being um, no aux cable. <laughs> no cable input. It has CD and FM. And AM. There's an AM radio. CD and radio. That's it. I'll show you the actual... Because um, I posted it in... Yeah, CD's fine. Like, I do listen to CDs. The center console looks like this. Tony Talica, what's up, dude? So it's got the CD. Whoops. With the CDs just under here. Uh, FM, CD, I don't know what CHG means, but it certainly doesn't mean CD change, because it only puts one CD in at a time. Can't have multiple CDs. So I don't know what chudge is. Uh, and all of this is built in with a little screen. There's a little screen up the top. So... Yeah. Or this is all like part it's built built into the center console so you can't just take it off and put in a new head unit because it's all molded in with plastic <laughs> I have a little bluetooth receiver that you yeah you tune to FM signals but the audio quality is really not good um and it's dependent on um your local area, you know? 
where your radio reception is. But the, the audio is not very good. The wheel's on the right side of the car, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to rip apart the entire center console of the car to do it. And I don't know how to do that. And also, I would still like to be able to control the air conditioner and, you know... Like, I still have um, temperature control. Yeah, steering wheel's on the right side of the car and we drive on the left side of the road. How far are you in the game? Uh, in terms of the story, about halfway. But... In terms of actually playing through it, we're not halfway. <laughs> we're at the very start of chapter three. Yeah, um, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what's up with my car. Um, and to replace it would be a full custom job, which is beyond my, beyond my capacity. Uh, I don't have the mechanical expertise to do it myself, uh, nor the money to pay a professional. So we just deal with, we just deal with it. Motorbike guy, yeah. I wouldn't mind a bike. Have fun at the game, APOC. Fingers crossed for a win. Playing the footy game tonight. Uh, Collingwood Carlton tonight. Big rival rematch at the MCG. Should be a good one. Pretty keen. I don't know who's playing in hockey. Okay, I'm going to take out the Chocobo. I don't know which of these enemies I'd have a better time trying to lock into a corner, but I can try it. <sighs> I want to control the air conditioning. I do, Fesser. It's nice to have air conditioning in a car. Sean, rest well, dude. Have a good night's sleep. Catch you in the next one, man. Gasoline is an American term. It was trademarked by a British businessman, John Castle. Gasoline being Casoline and Gasoline. Based off his name, right. Interesting. Also interesting that a lot of Americans will call it, gonna, we're gonna go and fill up with gas. We're gonna put gas in the car. But here, everyone will call it petrol or fuel. Take it easy, Jason. That's in the next one, dude. Yeah, most people don't call it gas. Unless you're actually putting gas in, like LPG. Then 
you might say, Gas. Benzene. Enjoying the game? Uh, a lot more than I was yesterday, Number. I'll say that. I wasn't enjoying the game yesterday at all. Closest I've come to putting down a Final Fantasy so far. <laughs> I would never, but I was tempted. Not going to pretend like I wasn't. <laughs> like I was thinking, man, the world would be a better place if I could stop playing this. <laughs> Angry is just down. Piss off, would ya? Oh, guzzling. Uh. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm... Gonna shoot this guy. Bang. And this guy, bang. Is this harder than XCOM? <sighs> it's, a, it's a hard one to say because at least with XCOM, the rules are pretty consistent. With this, they aren't. I feel like XCOM is more fair than this, and that's saying something, because XCOM is not a fair game. I saved before this fight, right? Hey, it's you, sir. Oh. <clears throat> you ever been a fan of Final Fantasy? Um, oh, I'd never played them before we started, uh, the series run. And one thing I'm learning is that they're all pretty self-contained. Like, each game is so different. It's hard to compare them. Uh, I can't even get to him. I can't, I can't get over there and heal the thief, so this is gonna be a dead run. Cool. Unless... Gray's doesn't reach there. Okay. Maybe it'll reach from here. Ooh. But they've all been... They've all sort of done their own thing. They have similarities, but... Something different in each entry. See more in the sequels, but more similarities? That's the shit I'm talking about. That's the shit that makes this game bullshit um, and unfair. I was about to resurrect a dead character with a spell that has consistently always worked in, in every other Final Fantasy game. That is the resurrection thing. But I missed. It's a dice roll. Doesn't matter how proficient the character is at the skill, you can miss. And I think that's, that ventures out of being like, oh, it's tough and tactical and more. It's, 
dice roll. It's a complete random encounter. And that's not tactical. <laughs> How can you be tactical when the odds are random? <laughs> It's luck. It's all luck. Absolutely. Coffee. <laughs> yeah, and it is why I've sort of I've I've ventured away from bringing a white mage. Is they're just slow. At least the chemists can use items. And, you know, there's maybe a higher hit chance. This is a good map for getting someone stuck, though. We can do the, uh... The, okay, so those are my big problems with Final Fantasy Tactics in general. Um... My, my two major problems. Uh, one is the randomness of the dice rolls in what should be pretty straightforward moves. Um, and how much grinding you need to do. Those are the two, the two issues I take with this. You can't just play through it normally without grinding. Follow the story. And that sucks. I see a chocobo. We're going to trap that chocobo. Well, we're going to trap a chocobo. But, you know, after this one, after this Final Fantasy, uh, is Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Which is going to be a complete, a complete change of pace from this. And I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and then we have Final Fantasy VIII, which is, you know, a, a more of a story game. Uh, Chocobo Racing. Which will be a one day fuck around, you know, silly kind of game. Then Chocobo's Dungeon 2. Another silly thing, and then Final Fantasy IX. So we've got some good stuff. That is, again, each one is so different from the last. Tactics is so different from Seven. Eight is so different from Tactics. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon is its own thing. Chocobo Racing is, you know, its own thing. And then we've got Ten, which is going to be a 100% run when we get there. So, you know. Very different vibes all the way through. It's Mario Kart. Yeah. You're not a fan of Final Fantasy VIII, Tanuki. There you go. Some people have said it's their favorite. Interesting. Now he's going to back off and heal. I don't want these, I don't want all the chocobos dead. Take out one. You don't like A, but you won't say it's bad, it just wasn't for you. Interesting. It's linear, but that's all you, it's got against it for you. I'm okay with linear. In fact, these days I find I'm preferring linear adventures. Tightly designed linear stories. Oh. But we'll see it when we get there. I mean, we've still got a long way to go between now and then. We've got two more chapters of tactics to go. Um, and Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, which from what I hear could be done in a few days or... Could take a few weeks. <laughs> no real way of knowing. Uh, 
Um, I think a chocobo is going to be the best enemy to trap. How much HP have you got? 150. Yeah. Because they got the self heal to buy me a few rounds. Oh, I mean, fuck. He's, if he's just going to let me do it. He's going to walk right up to us and get himself cornered. I'm not going to say no. We should get turns before the chocobo does. Um, how's everyone's health? Pretty all right. He missed. <laughs> oh, Edwin can't get over there quick enough. That's all right. I think I'm, I'm particularly looking forward to Final Fantasy X because I really liked X. Uh, I'm looking forward to Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon quite a lot. Uh, I'm looking forward to X too. Probably the most out of anything on this list because it's the most divisive. <laughs> and I like playing the divisive one. Form your own opinion, yeah. Oh, down you go. Is he gonna move? Oh, you cheeky cunt. Although, actually, that works out. Uh, works out okay. I get you to hit you. <laughs> David the chemist. I'll leave David the chemist where he is. Because he can... Oh, but up there... No, I don't want him up there. He's annoying me up there. I'll let him move. Get him somewhere a little bit better. AMVs, my God, yeah. Seen some good ones. There's a lot of good Naruto ones. <laughs> Nice. There's some fun. I, I never, I, because I didn't really vibe with Final Fantasy in high school or, or you know, even younger. Uh, I, I never saw anything. I, I, I didn't engage with anything Final Fantasy. I figured it wasn't for me. Janus. Get out of here, Janus. Okay, that's better. That's a good spot. Stay there, please.
Count on date. Can't attack anyone, that's cool. Wait. Bang. You made a Final Fantasy one for 10-2. That's pretty cool. Okay, the Chocobo is stuck. The Chad is stuck. What are we grinding? Just levels or something specific we're trying to get? Um, The story was really fucking hard and made me really fucking sad and angry yesterday. So, uh, I have decided <laughs> I'm going to farm as much as I possibly can so that it doesn't happen again. Because it made me mad. Chocobo's gonna move. God damn you. But yeah, that's all. That's all. <laughs> that's literally all it is. Is that yesterday was a really hard fight um, and I was getting fucked up and I was getting sick of getting fucked up. Overall strength. Yeah, pretty much. Job levels for everybody. Um, new abilities. Again, a bit more utility in combat. That's the main stuff. I just want to get this chocobo stuck somewhere. This is not a bad spot. Not the best spot. Not a bad spot. I don't like that he's not fully surrounded. Maybe I'll give him a space to move there. Oh, he can't move. That's fair, Echidna. That looks like where I want you to be. Yeah, Agrius, you chill out back here. Somewhere where I can get four people around him. That's what we want. He's going to move again, though. <laughs> don't move, don't move. Asshole! It's not where I want you. <sighs> David the chemist. Raise. Mono's on. I'm pretty excited for 14. Um, because I've been wanting to get through it for so long and, you know, time commitment is a thing. But doing it as part of this series run will really help me commit to seeing it through, I think. And you know, some days are going to be kind of grindy days. Some days are going to be more story focused days. But I think it should be a generally good time. He's not going to run away again, is he? Can he run away? Yeah. I keep trying to get him into like opportune spots. And it's just not happening. Yeah, we won't be at 14 for a while.
If I accomplish what I want to accomplish, we'll start next year with Final Fantasy X. Party days, solo days. Yeah, exactly. There'll be some days where I'm like, hey, if you've got a, you know, an OCE account, come and come and join me. And then there'll be days where I'm like, all right, guys, seriously, stop following me. I need to get shit done. <laughs> you know, it, it'll be a, a big adventure. And I hope that it's, you know, a big culmination of, you know, I know there's a lot of references in 14 to a lot of the games we'll have already played by then. Uh, and, you know, I know a lot of you have already seen a lot of the stuff in 14. So I, I just, you know, I, I want the playthrough to be something special. Fuck me! Wait. Appreciate it so much more. I think so. I'm excited. It's gonna be great. All right, I've got it trapped. Almost. Okay, now it's trapped. <laughs> Can I steal? Uh. David the chemist. If you throw that, it's going to hit him. So. Do that. I, I, I want you to be there so I can steal. Good gatekeeping, Fester. Fucking this fucking chocobo. Let me abuse you. <laughs> fucking pain in the ass, fucking thing. Yeah, we keep getting JP for resurrecting. have to do insane what's up dude that'll have to do uh move yes yes Got it. Okay. It's not going anywhere. You ain't going nowhere. Bone saw is ready. <laughs> Kate! 
gente. <risos> ok, here's how this is gonna work. Uh, you're gonna steal Gil. Excellent. And then wait. Now I need you to not kill this guy. But you're getting pretty strong. As long as Aura Blast doesn't do 120 damage. Nice. Excellent. Good. Sam Raimi's so fucking good. I love everything he does. And then I just get these two chemists. behind my two damage dealers and we should have a pretty consistent income of healing JP thief JP and um monk JP steal kill beautiful We've been going for almost five hours. It is 9.30. I reckon if we do this until 10.30, 11. We'll be good. Aura Blast, that might kill it. Have a potion. Old saw is ready. Now, can I get Agrius to just wait and not do anything? So I don't have to keep just telling her to wait? Because I just, I just wanted to stand there and not do anything. You're up. Uh, yeah, we'll do a poll for it. Haven't decided yet. We'll figure it out. It'll be in Discord. So if you're in the Discord server, uh, you'll be able to vote on what we do tomorrow. And if you're not, come and, come and join the Discord server so you can vote on what we're doing tomorrow. Bone Dungeon is ready! <laughs> uh. How? What if I set the two healers just to heal? Because that's all I want them to do. But I'm just worried they'll start doing attacks. Oh, but then they won't heal the Chocobo. Yeah, shit, you're right. How do I un-AI? Where's the vote happening? Hasn't happened yet. I'll do it today. But it'll be in the uh, news and updates section. How do you un-AI one of them? Is that doable? I appreciate that, Akidna. Sweet of Um. Don't think you've ever used the AI? Surely it's not a set and forget kind of thing where it doesn't let you do it again. I'm worried that one, he's going to attack. Oh no, he's just standing there now. That means now he's not going to get any JP either. Oh, that'll kill it for sure. 
Just keep pressing triangle Y until the menu appears? Okay. Did you play Final Fantasy A2 Tactics? No, not yet. That's later on in our marathon. That's what Reddit's saying. All right, Let's see what happens. Uh, advance two will be after we do advance. Um, oh, 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 it happened, but half oh, no. I did it, but I was too slow. Okay, that's a problem. He's a wild card. Is that going to hit Monozon? Yeah. Uh, wait. I heard the bloop bloop. Edwin. Steel. I pressed it! I pressed it! I pressed it and nothing happened. He's fucking everything up. Shit. What do I do? Shoot him. <laughs> Block him off so he can't do anything. Yeah, there's the bloop bloop. Fuck. Yeah, well, there goes that idea. God oh, damn it. It's because I was so distracted with the AI shit. I couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. It's fine. We can do it again. God oh, damn it. Pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, now I know not to do that. Hey, 14K. That's pretty good. Uh... All right, uh, let me save. Save. I'm going to go for... One more Siggy and a Piz. We're going to come back and we're going to literally just farm for another... <laughs> uh, yeah, probably hour, hour and a half. Uh, I had a coffee. Sev brought me a coffee. I got back from the last one. I'm good for coffee. Uh, but that's why I have to piss. So I'm going to go take a piss. And this will probably be my last break for the day. Uh, and we'll just rock on for another hour hour and a half, literally farm that entire time, keep just chatting and hanging out, I'm having a good time, I will be right back Flip. said hello welcome back oh, yeah. thank you Dan hi Silver uh, welcome back to, uh, Farm... Farmville. <laughs> it's just Farmville. 
That gives a war clip. Fucking Moogs called it perfectly. Actually incredible. Are we, is this, is this, are we gonna just be doing this for a while? Today has been exclusively grinding. It has been five hours, three and a half hours of gameplay. All grinding. <laughs> You know, I really, I don't know. I mean, it's good to have someone else, I suppose. Angry as can come. Why <laughs> fucking with each other? Oh, you, you, you need some help with that door? <laughs> That's a good one, too. Okay, I see two chocobos. We could also try and trap a goblin rather than a chocobo, but the chocobo has self-heal, which makes it a little bit easier to manipulate, so... I don't know, I guess we'll see what we can do. See who gives us the best opportunity for... Um, Trapping one of them. There's three chocobos to choose from. Watching those Breen films run into a student film called Llamageddon. I would love to watch Llamageddon. That sounds incredible. sounds like exactly my kind of movie next week done llama <laughs> get it fucking outstanding That's a pretty good time, yeah. I think so. Alright, that's one enemy down. Whoever's left, I suppose. Chocobo is preferable. Goblin will work. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm hoping that everything we've done today will set us up for a, a better, a better attempt at it next week. Because again, story missions don't scale the same way random encounters do. So the more we grind, the more levels we get, the better we get at our jobs. The better luck we'll have in the story missions that we need to do. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll be in a position where we don't need to grind so much. Mostly, I'm really, really, really keen to get back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. That game absolutely hooked me in. It's so good. I just, all, all, all I want to do is keep playing Kingdom Come. I 
It's just been fucking awesome. But it's the end of week game, so we must wait. You're just going to hit all of your friends. And then once tactics is done, again, we're, we're halfway through and I've really only had to spend one day. Today's the only day we've had to spend completely on grinding. We've got this far. Um, another couple weeks of tactics. And then we can start Dragon Age Inquisition. After that, I don't know what we'll do. I still need to do Lost Judgment. That's on the cards. Mario Party? Never played Mario Party. Never played it. N no iteration of Mario Party. Like having friends? Well... Uh Whenever I played multiplayer games growing up, it was always like, I was Mortal Kombat, fighting games, or um, Star Wars Jedi Academy multiplayer. I played that with friends. The problem was, they were usually my games, so I'd be playing them, you know, separate to all my friends being there so I'd get really good at them and then they'd stop wanting to play with me <laughs> academy multiplayer was awesome right Fuck, it was good Sword. Excellent. All right, I'm going to try. and trap either the goblin or the chocobo, whoever gives me an opportunity. That's unreal, I can attack behind them. Of course I can. Where's he going? Somewhere with four open spaces? Fuck you. Just die, dude. Come on. 
Why are you going to make it so difficult? Bang. Okay. Move the chocobo. If I can get him stuck in that corner again, I'll be a happy boy. If we can, like, en en envelop. This shouldn't kill it. It should make it run away. Agrius, you go and get these. Uh, heal him up. Now, with any luck, Chocobo will move closer to the corner rather than... How much health have you got? 55? This shouldn't kill it? Yeah, cool. Now run back and heal. Thank you. Perfect. Exactly where I want him. Nicholas, welcome back. Just seen Abigail. What that? Movie? Chopus, how you doing? The vampire movie, right? Fucking asshole! Why are you gonna make it so difficult, dude? Sorry. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Wait. Wait. Okay, now it's not going anywhere. Wait. Wait. Now it can only go in one direction. Where are you gonna go? Ouch. Edwin. Time to do some thiefy things. Abigail, oh, I'll keep an eye out for it. I like vampire stuff. You wait. Wait. Uh. I can probably get it in a more opportune place. I can get it to go where I want it to go. Pretty good, yeah? Okay, now, I don't think it can pass through this gap here. So if I back off over here, 
It'll give it freedom of movement to hopefully get in the corner. And then we can fully surround it. Shouldn't be able to kill anyone. Game's going good. Finally, we're, uh, I'm getting into a flow with trying to farm. That's better. Still not great though. Wait. Wait. I can only move one space. So hopefully I can push it into the corner. What are you playing it on? Uh, it's a RetroArch is the name of the emulation platform, but it's a PSP game. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That's going to kill it. Let's not do that. Wait. Gotcha. Steel. Stay there. You can just chill. Where does it keep the money? You know, I don't ask questions. But I don't want the answer to. <laughs> But I do keep plucking uh, coins out of it somehow. Just did the Yakuza like a dragon thing? Yeah, man, that's <laughs> it's a Twitch channel point redemption. Twitch viewers can use uh, use their points to make it happen. What are you gonna do? Hey, you, what you gonna do? Hey, you, what you gonna do? You're not going anywhere, I'll tell you that much. Sometimes money is called a nest egg. So we're just reaching into its cloaca and pulling out coins every couple of minutes. Depending on how much you get, it could be worth it. Hi, Potion. Excellent. Aura Blast. It's the only one I know that won't guarantee kill it, but it keeps missing, so. 
Steal, steal, steal. Two hundred and eighty bucks every time. Bad. I just don't want to kill it. Because if we crit, it might do like enough to one shot it. Why are you fighting a chocobo? It's just one of the many enemies in the game. This particular one I'm bullying because this is the most consistent way of farming that I've found. Because you don't get experience based on killing enemies, you get experience based on actions. Uh, so if I am to, for example, punch this chocobo and it hits like this, I get experience for doing that damage. And then if I was to heal that chocobo, I get experience for healing. Like this. So now <laughs> we're doubling down on experience gain. And this will only really become a problem if the chocobo gets strong enough in levels over the course of this to be a threat, but I don't see that being a problem. <laughs> Punch him in his chocobolts! <laughs> uh, my thief keeps stealing money from him, so we're getting uh, thief experience. So the thief is getting thief points. The monk is getting monk points. The healers are getting healer points. And we can pretty much stay here until I run out of ways to heal. Which... We're pretty... Pretty far ways off. night junk what's happening <laughs> steal bit of cash uh throw a potion over his head now he'll get it and yeah we can do this for another i don't know let's do this for another hour And this should put us in a pretty good spot for next week. Throwing into the Chocobo's Cloaca? Don't do that, Scotsman. Don't do that. <laughs> it's unsanitary. It ain't right. What's in the box? I dropped. Oh man, what if I even use protect? <laughs> so we do even less damage, but we'll still get experience for hitting it. Just silly now. <laughs> Does anyone need heals? Nah, uh, we're all pretty good. Um, guess we'll wait. I think at this point, the only thing that could really go wrong is if I accidentally crit and kill it. That's about it, I think. 
Might not like it, but this is what proficient farming looks like. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit of chocobo farming, that's all. Well, I, th I think, again, this, though, is is leading into my one of my bigger complaints with tactics in general, that this is required at all. Uh, I don't love. And I wish it weren't. But it is. This is the kind of shit you have to do. To have any chance of doing all right in this. I mean, like, you could get away with not farming if you knew exactly what to do, exactly how to level characters, the most efficient ways, you know, to level them all from the get-go. But on a first playthrough, which is what I imagine this game is designed around as a first playthrough experience, you're not going to know all that stuff. So you're going to level the wrong classes, the wrong abilities. You're going to realize, oh shit, I actually should have put points into that instead. Uh, and so you need to farm. The best you can do is grind efficiently, yeah. But the fact that this is sort of required or even more cheesy methods than this to do half decent at the game I don't, I don't know I think that's a failure on the game's part you need healing does anyone need healing yeah have a high potion Is this close to being, like, a more efficient way to farm? Yeah, but even, like, XCOM UFO defense isn't like this, and that game's fucking brutal, you know? UFO defense is older than this, isn't it? Or maybe it's not. It works, yeah. This is older than UFO defense? Okay. How do you heal your player? There's a few ways you can heal. Uh, one is to use items. Eye potion. You need, a, you need someone who can use items though, like a chemist. Or uh, someone who knows white magic. Golden Dragon! UFO defense is three years older than this. Okay. Golden Dragon. 52 months. Golden Dragon, welcome back. Thank you very, very much. Fucking 52. Crazy town. Thank you. How are you, Dragon? What's going on? No worries, Akin. Uh, steel? And yeah, this will be us for a while. <laughs> that goes tactics? Yeah, not bad. We're, we're, We've resorted to chicken farming. But not bad. Doing good for the most part. We take that. Need you to wait. Steal. We're getting money, we're getting uh, JP, we're getting XP. It's happening. Oh my god, yesterday was really, it was driving me nuts. It was... <laughs> yesterday was rough. <laughs> but we've, we've, we've pulled it back around.
I, I, I don't have a lot of criticisms. But the ones that I have are big, you know? Or a blast. Bang. I'm just excited to see where the story's gonna go, you know? Some good, some bad, yeah, sure. Now, of all people, Agrius actually should be getting some of this experience, but... Um... She's fine. She'll get some... By osmosis, I think. Missed. Fuck. I should keep track of how much money I get from these. Uh, David Chemist. Probably use an ether. You've got a hundred of them. I also think once I get a lot of this grinding out of the way and we're free to just play through the story, it'll be all right. Her range stuff, I don't know. I don't know how strong her ranged stuff is going to be. But give it, give it a try. It'll hit multiple party members as well, so she'll get more experience. I just don't want to kill it. Give it a crack. The Aura Blast is doing 90 pretty consistently. Items. Some of that. I really liked UFO Defense. It started off so rough. Um, but once you sort of, once you crack the code of how the game wants you to play it and what you have to do and accept that some losses are inevitable, <laughs> um, it becomes a lot more manageable and fun. I mean, Terror from the Deep was fucking cooked. It was like a whole new ball game, but... It was good. Don't I have to bring monos on? Don't I have to bring him? Or do I not? Hello! <laughs> Definitely not dead. <laughs> How much health has it got? 86. Oh, I don't want to risk that just yet. Wait until I heal it. Mm-mm-mm. I wish the auto system worked based on what you did last rather than uh, trusting an AI to make the right decision. Because 
Like, you know, the way auto battling works in the other Final Fantasies. Where it just takes your last input and keeps doing that over and over. Because then we could just, I could leave this overnight. <laughs> you know? Holy sword. Uh, no. Cleansing strike. May inflict doom. I don't want that. And Judgment Blade. Just stop. This was the first game of an auto function, really? Interesting. Oh, right, because I played the Pixel Remasters, didn't I? versions I played weren't the originals. Out of all the Final Fantasy games, which one is your favorite? Well, I've only played up to Tactics now. I'd probably have to give it to probably six. Probably Final Fantasy six. That one really, that, that one was pretty fucking good. At least, at least for now. It may change. Four was my favorite until we played five. And five was my favorite until we played six. A lot of games. Yeah, uh, we're up to... How many games is that now? Five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Is that a hundred games on the list? Wait, did I math that completely wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven times twelve plus six. What's that? fucking games uh, four is your favorite for personal attachment six is objectively a better game i i mean i look up until four it was pretty hard for me to pick a favorite i probably would have given it to three maybe legend one legend one was pretty fun but four was really like a really engrossing story that i really cared about um and then Mystic Quest was silly fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, and then five to me was like, again, a really engrossing story. I liked the characters. I liked the job system. I liked the way it all worked. And then, yeah, six. Wait, Legend 1, Legend 2. Which one had the robot that I like? Was that Legend 2? Little monobot? I'm getting them confused now. That was two? Okay, two then. Um, but I enjoyed playing five and then yeah, six really was just such a well put together experience. But four was great. Five was great. Mystic Quest was great. I love Mystic Quest. Final Fantasy VII, I was kind of eh on. Um, it didn't. It didn't wow me the way that I was kind of hoping it would. But I think that's a combination of overhype. And the fact that I didn't really delve 
I thought I was exploring quite a bit, but there's so much more to that game than, you know, what you find by base exploring. Like, you've really got to miss like 90% of the extra content. Yeah. And I really thought I was having like a good look around too. Like, I thought I was... I thought I was being pretty careful with my exploration and checking stuff. Um, but then, yeah, it turned out that I missed like most of the game. <laughs> Just a contrarian. How much extra content isn't farming in Final Fantasy 7? I don't know. Wait. But like the Final Fantasy 7 that I played where I played through the story um, and explored what I thought was a lot of the world. Um, I was pretty underwhelmed. But I, I don't base that on anything beyond... I saw most of the game just missed out on a lot of this and some story beats, nothing huge. Yeah. It, it, I think it's the legacy of that game. It's the same problem I have with Ocarina of Time. In a vacuum? Very, very good experience. But when everyone's touting it as, oh my god, it's the best thing in the world. Greatest fucking experience you'll ever have playing a video game. Um, yeah, it just wasn't. And I think that hype just gets, it gets in my head, you know. I come into it with a level of expectation. Kingdom Come Deliverance also had that level of expectation. Uh, but it's delivered for me. <laughs> Deliverance. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Excellent. Ultima's going to be absolutely miserable. What was the hardest fight in this game? Uh, Gathgarian, for sure. Kukulin was pretty rough, though. Um, hardest fight in any Final Fantasy. Cloud of Darkness, man. That fight sucked. I'll be a very happy boy if I never have to fight Final Fantasy 3's Cloud of Darkness ever again. Command and Conquer is going to be the worst game I ever play. <laughs> Yeah, Gak, they're rough. I'm sure I'll revisit Final Fantasy VII at some point. And I mean, we've got the remake later later in the list. I mean, I know they're different games, but, you know, it might I might play it. And by the time I get there, I, I'll have remembered Final Fantasy VII more fondly. Hard to know. Six to nine years from now, yeah. Oh yeah, Dirge of Cerberus, Crisis Core. <laughs> One shot Garuda. <laughs> what happened? Did I just get really lucky? I don't remember. It is gone from my memory banks.
I still have 55 X potions, dude. Monolith effect. It'll get you, man. It sneaks up on you, that monolith effect. <laughs> Why are you not killing that dragon? What dragon? You know, I should just be throwing potions just so he gets experience. You mean the chocobo? The yellow bird thing? Extracting blood from the rock dragon. <laughs> Turns out you can get blood from a stone. Wait. I don't want to kill it because killing it doesn't get me any more experience than fighting it like this does. So I want to keep it alive as long as possible. I am extracting as much experience out of it as I possibly can. And it's working. Toxic industry, what's going on man? Start classes in June. Nice, man. What are you studying? Is that going to kill it? 86? Don't think so. I think it does 60 damage. Yeah. Mechanical engineering. Hectic. That's killer, man. Fuck yeah. Deal? Yeah, it got stopped. We're good. Throw on potions. After two, use your transfer to a uni. Right, nice man. I, I I'm good to keep doing this for another like thirty minutes. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> this is fine. think of some of the most like cooked bosses that we've ever fought in some in like like what what bosses have given me the most trouble over the years there were a few castlevania bosses that gave me some trouble i remember death from one of the ps2 castlevanias was fucked um cloud of darkness is one of the tougher ones uh sword saint ishin from sekiro he gave me a bit of trouble. Um, Orphan of Coz was pretty rough. Armstrong from the end of Metal Gear Rising. That was fucking fucked. 
had more trouble with Madam Butterfly than Ishin. Virtue of having more experience. Yeah, Madam Butterfly is a pretty early fight in the grand scheme of Sekiro. Like you can fight her as like, what, your third boss? How early can you get to Madam Butterfly? Once you've started the main game, you can get all the way to the memory without having fought any bosses or mini bosses. But to get to Butterfly, you have to fight Yobu, the drunkard. Is that it? So you, she could be your second boss. Yeah. And that's fucked. <laughs> Cloud of Darkness had one of your favorite moments. Remember when I said the Steam version wasn't as hard as the DS version? You lied. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> you fucking, 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 fucking. Uh, no, you don't have to fight Blazing Bull or, or um, Oniwa to fight Lady Butterfly because she's in the memory. So to get to Lady Butterfly, you get through the uh, Genichiro fight at the start, which is a scripted thing anyway. You get out of the well, not out of the well, sorry. You get out of the temple. You run through that first area. You don't have to fight the general Seven Spears guy, whatever he is. You can get around him without fighting. And the lady with the bell is in the literal next area. You don't have to fight anyone to get to her. Get the bell. Go to the Buddha statue and ring it back at the, you know, temple. And then you're in the Harada estate, in the memory. And you go... Across the bridge, through the village. You have to fight the spear guy in the village, in the Harada estate. The, the guy in white, I don't remember his name. That's a required fight. So one mini boss. Um, and then it's up past Owl, through the forest area, second village, Gyobu the drunkard. Yobu? Jozu. Jozu the drunkard. Samurai hunter guy on the way there. He's missable though. He's skippable. Not a boss, yeah. And then, yeah, once, once you've got past Jozu, she's inside there. So... Uh, Spear Guy in white, Jozu the Drunkard. Those are the only two enemies you have to fight to get to Lady Butterfly. So, it's a pretty early fight, and she's rough. So, it makes sense she's a pretty early wall for people. You realize you jump the rails a bit? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty... Pretty oddly paced. Man, I love Sekiro. Sekiro was still my favorite from Soft Entry. I would like to do Kingsfield at some point. I think that could be really fun. Like, play with the jank, you know? Best rhythm game ever made. God, I love Sekiro. So we need to play Sekiro on Bloodborne? Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Bloodborne's great. I love Bloodborne. I like Sekiro more. Sekiro speedrun when? I was actually learning a Sekiro speedrun, but the problem with speedrunning is it's not very interesting to watch someone learn a speedrun. <laughs> it's pretty tedious. More tedious than this. Like you think this is fucking riveting gameplay. Wait till you watch someone learn a speedrun. 
You should do it, Carl. Seriously, it's not... It's intimidating, but you can do it. You can absolutely get through it. Rumor is they're porting Bloodborne to PC this year. Oh, I'll believe it when I see it. We'll see. Get a spike. What's going on, mate? Can't watch this. Tactical games give you so much anxiety. I mean, we're not being particularly tactical right now. I am grinding mercilessly on this bird. There is... There's no stress in what I'm doing currently. <laughs> if you were here yesterday, it would have been a very different story. Today I cracked the shits and said we're going to farm. So we're farming. <laughs> Let's just play this Fire Emblem. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just bullying this fucking bird. There is... <laughs> there is very little tactic happening here. Never played Fire Emblem. Or, um, Dragon Quest. I haven't played Dragon Quest. Apparently they're pretty good though. Sacred's been playing Dragon Quest. Can get balls hard real quick, yeah. I'm getting more and more cash. We got a good loop going here. We're gonna go for another 25, 30 minutes. Just before we call it for the day, I'll kill it. See what we got for it. The social stuff got old real quick. What is there like, um... You gotta maintain relationships or something. Between battles, you have to suck up to people that will fight for you and collectibles to find. Right. Steal. That's a thing in Fire Emblem, right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally. Fire Emblem is totally foreign to me. The only thing I know about it is the Smash characters. <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's as far as I've got. But I know people really like those games. I'd like to do them at some point. I mean, maybe once we're done with this. So, 10 years from now, we can play some Fire Emblem. How much health have you got? However long it takes for us to play all the Final Fantasies. We're, we're making pretty good pace. We're all right. Holy sword. Fuck for auto potion. That's another ability I'm going to want everyone to have eventually is auto potion. So even if they get buffed a little bit, they'll recover some of it. Pretty handy. Monozone's looking a little hurt. Let's see if we can... Uh... Pick him back up before the chocobo does something. Whoops.
Beautiful. <sighs> what a glorious day. Uh, again, keep an eye on Discord today. Uh, sometime in the next couple hours, I'll put a poll up um, and we can get a vibe for what we're streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow is fuck around day. Fuck around Friday. We're going to fuck around and find out. Don't know what we're going to do. Could be one of a million things that we got suggested today. Uh, and I'm pretty open to doing anything. Midweek, chill. Even though today's Friday for me, so the name doesn't really check out. But... It still works. It's still good. We operate in future time. Past time. Uh... Holy Sword, go on. Stop the chocobo. Stop me. Nope. Nope, it just stopped the chocobo. Nice. Beautiful. Agrius got a level. Excellent. How's your health, Monozon? You're good. You're all right. You're fine, mate. Don't fucking worry about it. Uh, wait. How much health have you got? 56. You know what? Kill it. Let's see what... Almost an hour of doing that got us. 17k. G'day, Salty. What's happening? Um, party roster. How'd we do? Seven hundred and ninety-six points in chemist, which gives you auto potion. Just wash the blankets. What for the for the first time in a month? Nice and clean now. Uh, archer. Have some points in archer. No. Two thousand points in monk. Don't fucking mind if I do. Chakra self heal, doom fist. Almost mastered it. Steel heart. Charms them. Steel helm. Steel experience. Yeah, motherfucker. Edwin. 2,000 points in thief. Fantastic. Poach. What does poach do? Deliver slain monsters' remains to a poacher's den. Receive girl equal to the amount of damage taken. Catch thrown items and add them to the party inventory. Well, I'm going to steal experience. I'm very curious about poach. Move plus two, jump plus two. I'll get all of those. Yeah, dude. Sick. Powell the chemist. Is this going to be chemist max out? Oh no, Powell. Powell was the archer. Auto potion. Ether. Hi, Ether. Uh, I'm using. Uh, it's called Retro Arc. Uh, it's a, been a bit dicky the last couple of days, but it's pretty good. But yeah, I mean, it's RetroArch running PPSP, which is the go-to for PSP emulation. Thief?
cool. David, the chemist. Surely he's done being a chemist now. Yeah. David, the chemist, is no longer required to be a chemist. <laughs> Knight? Maybe I could make David the Chemist an archer. Swap jobs with Powell. Thief? Mr. the Chemist was his father. Onion Knight? What? I'm sorry? Sorry. He's a master of being an onion knight? Oh, that has no abilities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Metro, Metro Man. He's gonna be a Metro Man. Metro, Metro Man. Thanks for 35 months, dude. Welcome back. What's shaking? How are you? Thirty-five fucking months. How the time it does fly, Metro. I've known you longer than that, too. No, 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 no. Auto potion. Auto potion, good. Thank you very much, dude. Steel experience. Steel kill. Steel heart. Um, almost got monk cl monk cleared out. Yeah, l what one, two. But who mastered their job? Was it Edwin? No, not yet. Uh, Powell? No. David. Change David's job. Onion Knight. I don't know what that is. Geomancer, mystic, thief, time mage, black mage, monk, white mage, archer. Dragoon? How do we get thief level four to be a dragoon? Guess I'm making David the chemist a thief. Items, auto potion, JP boost, move plus one. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So David the chemist is now a thief, but he's still David the chemist. Um, Monozon is almost finished being a monk. Animations of creatures, motion... Yeah, no, I'm still doing game dev. Absolutely. Fuck yeah. We'll give it a look. How long is that bundle available for? Oh yeah, no, don't tell me anything. Um, figuring stuff out is half the fun. Like, I appreciate the, you know, that it's like helpful information, but like, I really love finding stuff myself, so... Yeah, we'll get there. I'm kind of thinking we just level up every motherfucker as far as we can, you know? If I give them a little bit of levels in everything. Is 
Dismiss. Dismiss. Witcher Cyberpunk book bundle. Ooh. 11 days left. Sick. So I can get it when I get paid. I will. Because that sounds very useful. For my needs. Um, you know what else is useful for my needs is um, calling it here for the day because I have to take a piss. <laughs> and instead of taking another break, we've been going for six hours. We had a very good grind sesh. Yeah, we'll probably need to have another grind sesh. But you know what? Today's been chill. I'm not fussed. It's been a good day. What about your request, Brutish? What did I miss? What did you what? What what did you request? Thanks for a good chat stream, yeah. A song? Oh fuck, sorry. Didn't even say it. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today. <laughs> British. Again, I'm sorry about fucking up the song. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you for your company, your time, um, your attention. <laughs> the most valuable thing you can give to any creator. Um, thank you for uh, your subs, resubs, gifted subs, prime subs, uh, your bits and tips and all the support through Twitch. Uh, we hit 800 subs on YouTube today, which is fucking sick. Aru's come to say thank you as well. Hi. Yeah, I got a warm little head. Why is your head so warm? Where were you sitting? Um, that's really fucking cool. Um, come join the Discord because there's going to be a vote in there later on today uh, as to what we're doing tomorrow. In fact, here's a link to all of my social things. But you can find me across various interwebs. I'm just finding somewhere for us to go and hang out now. Um, I hope you guys have had a nice time. It's been a pretty chill, brain off kind of day. <laughs> Not thinking too hard uh, compared to yesterday, which was uh, exhausting. So, thank you for spending some time here. I will see you all tomorrow for Fuck Around Friday. I'll see some of you on the Discord tonight for some football for anyone who's keen. Um, I'll see you all when I see you all. So thanks for a wonderful day. And until I see you all again, stay safe. Don't die. Take care.